What three things can you do to be a positive parent? Firstly, focus on the strengths of your child instead of the challenges and weaknesses. This is a lot easier said than done because when they're having a meltdown or they're not cooperating, it's very easy to focus on what they're not doing well. So the first thing is look out for, notice and comment on the strengths. Look out for what they are doing well and comment on that. The second way to work on positive parenting is to use a combination of kindness and firmness. It's not all about child-centeredness and just getting the child being kind and loving and acknowledging a child's feelings. That's the kind side. There has to be a balance with firm. So it's like a seesaw. Kindness and firmness need to work together. However, with today's iPods, it's the kindness that needs to come first. They need us to connect with them. Remember, we speak about connection before correction. So that kindness is going to the eye level. It is um, reassuring them. It is naming the feelings. All the stuff I talk about in chapter 8, 9 and 10 of my parent, mag parent magic book. So that's kind. And then the firm is using positive psychology discipline recipes where they know they get to know what to expect um, the three choices recipe a lot of you know the recipes i'm talking about but a very important principle is we have to have the kindness with the firmness not just kind and not just firm and then the third thing is a, in, in positive parenting is mutual respect if you want your child to respect you especially today's kids you got to show respect to them. How do we show respect? That is by listening to them when they have something to say. Even if we're not in the mood, we either tell them we can't listen right now or we actually stop what we're doing and listen, putting down our devices. That shows respect. Other ways we show respect is by giving a choice to them and following through with what we said. Obviously, when we make promises and these promises get broken, it's hard for them to trust us and that lack of trust is going to derode and decode any trust that was already built up and respect. So the top three things you can do in positive parenting, we recap. What we can do is focus on their strengths, not their weaknesses, balance kindness with firmness and have a relationship that's mutually respecting. Let's give it a try and put our comments here and you're welcome also to um, go onto our website and get your copy of Parent Magic. Have a great week.